Adding a discussion board to your site involves a couple of steps. First of all, we're going to go into Site Actions and View All Site Content. You can also get to View All Site Content at the bottom of your Quick Launch bar. So either way, you want to get there. We're going to go to the word Create at the top and then scroll down and find Discussion Board. You will give a name to your discussion board. If I go to more options, I can choose not to have it listed in the quick launch, but I do want to have it listed there, so click the word create. And then I'm ready to add my new discussion. You'll notice it is over here on the side because I said to be sure to put it there. I'm going to add a new discussion. So there's my discussion. I click the word save. And then it is right here. For someone to reply, they will just open it up and they would click the reply button over here on the side to be able to um, add something additional. With a discussion board you normally want to control the permissions and so I'm going to go to the list tab at the top over on the right it says list permissions. Click that. We would like to give the discussion board um, unique permissions meaning it doesn't have the same permissions as the site where it's housed. In order to do that, I'm going to stop inheriting permissions from this parent site. Click OK. And then it allows me to take off anyone that I do not want. The first thing I want to do with a discussion board, most likely, is to take off the anonymous access. And I click there, and it looks like there is no access available. So that's good. I'm going to remove the visitors and the members, so I click on those boxes and say remove user permissions. And I'm going to grant permissions to all authenticated users. I'm going to search for those. All authenticated users just means anyone who can log in to the website. The permission we want to give them is the bottom one, participate in a discussion board and or survey. I don't need to send out an email to everybody. This will allow people to go into the discussion board and add a reply. They cannot, however, adjust, edit, delete anyone else's reply, and that's why you want to choose that particular permission. Then your discussion board is ready to go.